No, 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 and grow, grow, and grow. What's up, 23% Nation? Your man, Coach D, is back. And guys, as you already know, we're talking about the 10 secrets fit and healthy people won't tell you. <laughs> Why? I have no idea. So guys, I want to welcome you to, to the fourth secret. That's right. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive right on in. All right. So the fourth secret is the more you know, the more you grow. <laughs> I'm going to say that again, just in case you didn't hear it the first time. Ladies and gentlemen, the more you know, the more you grow. So what this particular video is about, guys, it's about us learning about health and fitness. Remember, we're talking about the top 10 secrets fit and healthy people won't tell us. And so, guys, I'm here to help you out. That's right. So the more you know, the more you grow. So in order for you to grow in health and in fitness and ultimately in life, you got to learn. You got to educate yourself. Now, here's one cool thing about learning is that there are basically two different types of learning. You have passive learning and then you also have active learning. Now, you simply watching or listening to this video, that's basically passive learning. Now, if you really want it to stick, if you really want it to grow, if you want higher retention, then you got to convert your passive learning into active learning. In other words, you got to get up and actually execute some of the things, if not all of the advice that Coach D is about to bestow upon you. So get ready because this is going to be an amazing ride. All right, so now let's get into how to learn. <laughs> okay, guys, first and foremost, you got to start reading just a little more. Now, what I would advise is that you begin to read more about health and more about fitness. Pick up a magazine, pick up a book. Now, if you're the type of person who really loves going to a bookstore, maybe Barnes and Noble or maybe some mom and pa bookstore, really doesn't matter. Why don't you pick up a book, pick up a magazine, 30 minutes to an hour and just sit there and read. Now, feel free to read anything you want, but of course, it should definitely be about health and fitness. Maybe you want to read about the latest workout tips. Maybe you want to read about the latest fitness or diet craze. All right. Although, honestly, I don't really recommend that. However, I will recommend that you just simply stick to the five food groups of the 23% challenge. Remember, guys, fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds, whole grains, legumes, right? And please don't forget about good old water, <laughs> okay? Now, if you really want to dive in very deeply, you might want to get a subscription. That's right, guys. So here in the picture, you see health and fitness. Now, that is an amazing magazine, but it may not be for you. All right. Back in the day, I used to have a subscription to Flex magazine. Why? Because I was interested in learning how to become a bodybuilder. You see? So whether you want to go to a bookstore or you want to stay at home and read magazines that come through your magazine subscription, then by all means. But please, please, please start reading just a little more. Also, this will help you determine fact from fiction. Next up, how to learn. <laughs> okay. Now that we know how important it is to start reading, guys, we got to start watching videos. That's right. So here's one of the tasks that I would like to give you today. I want you to go on YouTube. That's right. YouTube is definitely the place to be. <laughs> okay. And I want you to find three fitness gurus, or we can use the word mentors. I'll leave it up to you. 
But the key is to find three people that you highly respect. Maybe you respect their workouts. Maybe you respect the way they look. Maybe you simply respect their ideologies and their concepts and principles about life. But once again, we're talking about health and fitness. So obviously, these people should be talking about how to become more fit and how to become more healthy. Now, in finding your three gurus or three mentors, I will suggest that we get the feminine perspective as well as the masculine perspective. So make sure that you find one man and one woman. Now, the third person is going to be rather interesting. I highly suggest that your third person be someone of your same age as well as your same abilities. Or we can use the word limitations because here's the thing. Not everybody is at the same health and fitness level. You see, some of us may have disabilities. Some of us may have a certain illness or a certain sickness. So in doing your research, you definitely want to find someone that you can ultimately relate to. So maybe you have heart disease. Maybe you have knee issues. Maybe you have diabetes. So you probably want to find someone who is a fitness expert, fitness guru, fitness mentor that has the same abilities, limitations, or conditions that you also have. That way you can relate to this person and you won't think of them perhaps as a fraud. <laughs> okay, so I hope that really, really helps you out. Next up how to learn. Guys, we got to start talking to people. All right. So, so far we're reading, then we're watching. Now we're talking to people. That's right. This is part of active learning. We want to increase the likelihood that the information actually sticks. Okay. So when you begin to talk to people, you want to be careful because you don't want to just talk to anybody. And I'll tell you something. Most people think they know a whole lot about health and fitness when in actuality, they really don't. So when you talk to people, you want to be careful. In other words, you want to talk to people who really know what they're talking about. That being said, when you're in the gym, don't be afraid to strike up a conversation with a personal trainer. Now, when talking to trainers, here are things that you want to consider. Number one, they're, they probably are very busy. So make sure that your question is something that they can answer very quickly. Also understand this. Most personal trainers will give you a free one hour session. So you may want to use that one hour session for both conversation and exercise. So if you want to focus on the conversation, go in to that meeting with a list of questions. All right. That way you won't forget what it is you want to discuss with the trainer. Also, for those of us who love group exercise classes, spinning, yoga, Zumba, just to name a few, talk to your group instructors. You got to understand something. Group instructors are also certified individuals, so they know a whole lot about health and fitness. So if you don't want to talk to a trainer, go ahead and talk to one of the group instructors. They probably know more, if not the same as a personal trainer. And the third type of person that I would recommend that you talk to is a gym buddy. Maybe this is someone that you kind of know in the gym. Maybe it's someone whose physique you admire. Maybe you like how hard they go in the gym. Maybe they have a very high intense workout and you admire them for whatever reason. Or maybe you just want to talk to the person because you like them. <laughs> okay. Well, in liking them, why don't we also learn something from them? So develop a gym buddy ship. That's what I like to call it. A gym buddy ship. All right. So once again, how to learn, we got to start talking to people. 
So the types of people that you want to talk to, of course, would be personal trainers, group instructors, and someone that you really, really admire for whatever reason in the gym. Next up, next up, enroll in a class. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, we're talking about how to learn. The more you know, the more you grow. So if you really want to take your health and fitness to the next level, and I do mean the next level, you, you probably want to enroll in a class. Now, you can always take my total wellness class, <laughs> okay? I'll teach you a whole lot. Or you can take a health class or why not take a nutrition class? That's right. Now, if you really, really, really are serious about this whole health and fitness kick, then you may just want to become certified. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, becoming certified will definitely teach you exactly what you need to know in order to accomplish all of your health and fitness goals. So. Take a class, right? Total wellness, health, nutrition, or go ahead and get your certification. Now, here's one small thing about seeking a certification. Most of them are expensive. Well, depending on your definition of expenses, but I'll use the word pricey, <laughs> okay? Some of them may cost a thousand, two thousand, three thousand. All right, so please be prepared to put out a few dollars in order to get that certification slash education. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, those are the tips that Coach D has for you today in order for us to learn more. Remember, the more you know, the more you will grow. That being said, question of the day, question of the day is, which strategy works best for you? Reading, watching, talking, or enrolling? Let us know, me and the rest of the 23% nation, we have inquiring minds. So here's our question of the day once again. Which strategy works best for you? Reading, watching, talking, or enrolling? Once you state which strategy is best for you, please let us know why. Guys, I want to thank you for watching. I definitely want to thank you for listening. And as always, eat well, feel well, think well, do well, be well. Never ever forget, Coach D loves you. And please stay tuned because the next secret is upon us. Take care and God bless.